Here we go, sandpaper edition, shop glass. Let's talk, glasses on. We know sandpaper is classified by grit. We've went over this several times already. We know that the grit number is on the back. So for example, a 150 grit sandpaper. We know in our class, we go from 80 grit, which is the roughest that we have, all the way up to a wet sand here where you can finish sand, clear up in the four and 600 grit, and then everywhere in between. Today, we're gonna to talk about different types of sanders. So you're good to go. Let's go and talk. So in our classroom, we have these numbers actually classified on these um, bins to help you identify the different types of grit. So there is the rough 80 all the way up to the really uh, smooth or really soft 400 and 600 grit sandpaper. All right. Now, when we talk sandpaper, we also have to understand that we're going to create a lot of dust. So sanding is basically scratching the surface over and over again in smaller increments to make it smooth. So if we want a lot of material removed, we're gonna to wanna to use down here at the 80. If we wanna make it really, really smooth to finish sand it, we're gonna have, uh, we're gonna have to use these ones down here in woodworking. We really focus on this 220 to 280 range. So we can hand sand and we've done that in class already, just moving back and forth. We can also use these block sanders, which are super helpful. Uh, we simply just wrap the sandpaper around there. There's actually little teeth in here to help us hang on to it. And then we can use this to help us hold on to the sandpaper. But we're going to talk about the different types of, uh, excuse me, the different types of sanders we have in our classroom and how to use them. We also here at, uh, at uh, Harbor, we have uh, Harbor Lights, we have this sanding um, area where the dust collector actually pulls the sawdust or the sanded material down into here and then takes it out the dust collector. So that's kind of nice to have. So we'll always be using this. I'm actually gonna take these um, bins away from here so we can sand all the way around here. So let's move this around so I can talk to you and hopefully you can still see me here. <clears throat> types of sanders that we have in our classroom. Probably uh, the least common and the one that we'll use the least is a handheld belt sander. Now, when we talk the disc sander and the disc belt combo sander in the back, you'll notice that it really has the same type of um, configuration. When we use the term belt, we think about being around something like around our waist. But here we have uh, the same configuration. This belt sander is gonna, uh, when we turn it on, it's gonna go backwards, it's gonna go down and around, so we have to make sure we hang on to it. There's a trigger in the back and then a handle up here in the front. So we'll turn it on real quick. So you can imagine this is uh, probably 80 grit sandpaper, so it's gonna remove a lot of material very, very quickly. We're gonna hang on to it like this and we would go back and forth on the material. So <clears throat> what we'd wanna do is when we were taking paint off or we were trying to make something uh, that's super rough, somewhat smooth to start working on it, we would use something like this. We do have a couple different types of palm sanders. These are all considered palm sanders because they do fit in the palm of our hand, right? That's how we use them. Uh, we have a vibrating sander here. Uh, this is also just another version of a vibrating sander. Uh, and this is a random orbital uh, sander. So we'll talk about those three um, in just a second here. So. Our uh, first one here to talk about is going to be uh, these little um, vibrating palm sanders. <clears throat> so they have sandpaper that's going to actually fit on them and go underneath these little tiny uh, things here that actually grab a hold and grip the sandpaper. So these are, this would actually wrap around here and then go around the back and then wrap around here. So it would actually cover this surface here. Um, and then we end up putting some holes in it so it actually collects it here. To empty it, we would actually just simply turn it and kind of wiggle it a little bit and it's gonna have our sawdust in there and then we would dump this out into the trash. So we would lock this back up like this 
This is gonna have sandpaper on the bottom of it. Um, stuck around here like this. And when we turn it on, okay. It's gonna have this vibrating kind of pattern like that, therefore allowing us to be more efficient, uh, be quicker, and um, to, uh, again, use different types of grit to smooth out um, those. So sanding by hand is, can be done, and it's not hard to do, especially when you're using pine, but this gives us something else to use and gives us an opportunity to practice uh, using a different tool. Uh, this Bosch is the same thing. It does have a dust collector on the back, a little different. This one, um, we have to actually squeeze here, and then this opens up, and you can see the sawdust inside there. So we would want to empty that out. Uh, this one works the same way. Um, this one already has the sandpaper on it. We actually use it to push these little uh, pieces in here, and then it opens up these little jaws here on the end, and that grabs the sandpaper. So uh, to use that one, we're going to just go like this. Again, it's hold it in the palm of our hand and then turn it on. Back and forth. Uh, we have a really soft sandpaper on here, so it's going to get really smooth uh, really quick. Oh, that's nice. So, <clears throat> especially right through there. All right. So that's uh, another type of um, just palm sander, vibrating palm sander. Here's the ones that I like just because they, um, they're a little bit different. These are a random orbital sander. So when we turn this on, um, this is going to uh, not only spin orbital, right, around, uh, it's also going to be random. So it's gonna kind of uh, jitter also as it does that. This is called a hook and loop system, which is basically Velcro. Do not ever sand with just this because it'll actually burn off uh, the, the hooks and then the sandpaper won't stick and then they're almost uh, worthless. And so we don't want to do that. We want to line to line them up and uh, to make them work. We just simply line up the holes like this, put it on there like that, and um, we're ready to go. I'm just going to turn it on to show you that it's going to spin around in a circle. Kind of a weird vibrating, but also is going to spin. Um, to do this, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to set it on here first. We're going to turn it on. Notice I'm keeping it moving all over. Um, if we want to, this is probably a really good idea. If you want to soften these edges a little bit, uh, we simply can take this and kind of move it up on its edge like this. And if you look here, we're starting to get that rounded edge. We don't want them really flat, but rounding them off really softens it up. It really makes it look like a finished product, which uh, for our stool legs is gonna look really, really nice. Uh, especially in comparison to uh, the other sides. So that looks really, really good. So we have three different types of sanders. The, um, the great big belt sander, the vibrating sanders, which are, those are the same, these ones here, and then the random orbital sander here. Um, sandpaper is classified by grit, and those numbers are on the back. We can see that, that an 80 grit's really, really rough and we'll show you how to put the sandpaper on these uh, when we get started but we are going to be using this uh, for our stool project and then some of the other things that we may be doing so that is uh, a little bit about sanding and about sanders today's video is sponsored by uh, gator power which is a uh, uh, hook and loop sandpaper so again you'll see how those are they're classified there by the grit number so pretty good brand. I use these quite a bit and we'll be using them in class as well. So there you go. We're out.